Hello everybody and welcome to Whiskey Business. Today we are gonna make a spicy sweet corn with bacon, because everything is better with bacon. And the only thing you're gonna need to cook it in is the cast iron. So we're gonna have corn, bacon, we have two jalapenos, one good size habanero, some garlic, and of course our whiskey. Today we are drinking Elijah Craig small batch, uh, barrel proof. Let's get started. I've got my two jalapenos, one habanero, about four cloves of garlic, four or five cloves of garlic, and five thick cut slices of bacon, all cut up. A little tip if you are cutting onions and garlic and you wanna get rid of that smell off your hands, is to wash your hands with a stainless spoon or fork with the dish soap. Something about the stainless steel and the soap helps to get rid of that smell off your hands. So next time you're cutting onions and garlic and you don't wanna smell like it, there's a little tip for you. Now we're gonna cut up our corn. All right, I'm cutting up the sweet corn now. A lot of people will do the corn on the cob straight up with, you know, you can put a bowl underneath it, that way all the corn falls down. To me, it's just a little bit easier and more stable for me to cut it down on its side. And this way I can also make sure I'm getting all those good sweet corn juices from the corn on the cob. So just hold it flat. And then you don't have corn spilling everywhere. I've got my cast iron nice and hot, so now we're gonna add our bacon first. We just wanna cook this until it starts to render down the fat, but not all the way. And then once that cooks for a few minutes, we're gonna add our garlic and our pepper. The bacon is getting nice and rendered here. I don't want it to get crispy, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of whiskey to make this more of a whiskey business dish and give that bacon a little good flavor as well. Stir that up and now we're gonna add our peppers. My peppers and my garlic have been added and we're just gonna cook this on a medium heat just until I can see that the garlic is starting to get nice and translucent. You don't want it to brown and then we'll add our corn. If you don't have fresh peppers, I've made this with pickled ones before, and it's really just as good. But I had fresh ones on hand from going to the farmer's market, so I'm using what I have on hand. I've also cooked this on the grill, and it gives it a nice extra little smoky flavor that. And using the cast iron, it's a perfect way to cook that on the grill, too. Just added my sweet corn. Gave everything a nice, good stir and coating so that bacon fat can get absorbed in all of the corn. I'm gonna cook this for a little bit. I love sweet corn. Obviously the summer is the best time to get it, but sometimes it gets a little annoying to always have it on the cob. There's little flossy parts of the corn. And maybe you have people who can't eat corn on the cob. So this is a nice way to get that advantage of the sweet corn without having to always eat it on the cob. We're gonna cook this for a few more minutes. If you don't wanna have as much heat, now would be when you would wanna add more spices and more seasoning to this. But other than a little salt and pepper, we've got enough flavor going from the sweet corn, the bacon, and the jalapenos and habanero, but we don't really need to add too much more. Okay, we've cooked our corn for about five to 10 minutes on a medium, medium low. You want the corn to still have a little bit of a bite. You don't want it to get too mushy here. And <laughs> my dog is barking at me in the background because he wants some. Bruno. You can't have any, there's garlic on it, okay? And we're gonna pair it with some leftover London broil and a Southwest avocado Caesar salad. And there we have our sweet and spicy skillet cast iron corn, <laughs> accompanied with a little Bruno wooing and pairing it with a leftover London broil and a salad and of course our whiskey. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and hit the little bell so you receive notifications. And I hope you ignore my dog acting like Chewbacca in the background. Enjoy everybody.